Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I'm good. Now, listen, I know that you all are super busy, and I appreciate you so much for taking time out of your schedule to join me on the tan line. It is an honor to have you here because I have questions that need answers. <laughs> We're here. We're here for you. Hit us. <laughs> you know, so here it is. You're absolutely no strangers when it comes down to hitting the entertainment industry. Ebene, I want to ask you, how did you know that this was what you wanted to do with your life? From just the passion of saying, I'm I'm a drama queen to, no, I'm really going to run this scene. <laughs> you know, um, the week before my fourth birthday, and I remember it like that because that's how my mom tells the story. <laughs> um, <laughs> We went to see Beauty and the Beast on Broadway with a, a family friend. And it clicked for me in that moment that I was watching adults do what I was doing at home all the time. Like I knew the movie, I would play, I you know, acted out all the time. And then I sat in the audience and I was like, wait, those are adults and this is their job. Great. I want that job. That's the job. So, Sign me up. <laughs> exactly. So from, from that moment, I knew I wanted to do this. You know, and you've been doing an amazing job. And Isaiah, when it comes down to you and this long list, it's a phone book of the work that you have done and the roads that you have paved, not just for yourself, but for the others in the entertainment industry. Um, is there ever like applied pressure knowing that you, you can't get an off day because, you know, all eyes are watching. At this point, there is a level of expectancy of you. So, I mean, how do you balance that? Uh... I don't want any off days. I, I, I mean, I've had enough off days in my career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cherish every moment. Uh, but I also sort of feel like um, everything that I do, uh, I'm going to bring it. Uh, um, there's going to be a fair amount of emotion. Uh, uh, so I never really worry too much about it. Yeah. As long as you can be honest and tell the truth, uh, I can do that for almost every character that I play. Okay, and, good. Uh, I need to know that because we got some heavy hitters hitting the screen and um, it, there's a situation that's about to pop off with the Kings of Napa and I need to know what should I expect? Because you know, when you say own is bringing something new, Open Winfrey Network is about to break us off and we got this drama field series coming. Ebony, give me the inside scoop on what we should expect from your character. Oh, for my character. I think what we should expect from August is to see um, a millennial woman who's carving her own path, different from her mother's, different from, you know, her brothers and what they're doing. Um, she's strong. She's fearless. She's tenacious. And she won't let anything stop her. She's going to be challenged. She's going to fall down. She's going to, you know, make mistakes. Uh -huh. But she is not going to let anything stop her from executing the vision that she has for the company, yes, but for her family as a whole and for their legacy. Um, and we're going to see, you know, we're going to see her struggle with love. We're going to see her struggle with um, anxiety and all of those emotions. But largely, we're going to see her learn how to step into the moniker of King. She thinks she knows when she, mm -hmm. we start the series, but what we, the events of the series really challenge her. Um, to find out what that really means. I need to know who's been reading my journal and putting my life on screen, you know, because so many women will be able to relate to that. And it's just mm -hmm. like, get out of my head. Now is not the time. And you're kicking <laughs> off the new year, new year resolution, new me, and you're bringing solutions because we're going to live this out through my girl, August. So Ebony, I'm, I'm knowing that you're going to bring it. And Isaiah, <laughs> your level of drama, what is it? Pick your poison. <laughs> No, I, I just try, I, you know, I, I play the patriarch. I set everything in motion and uh, <clears throat> I start the drama and then I just kind of step back and let everybody else uh, butt heads and play it and, and try to figure <laughs> things out. But we are family. We do love one another, uh, but that can also bring problems. Yeah. Whew, tell me about it. So not only is this entertainment, but it's therapy, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> and that's one thing I love about all of the programming that's finding its way to own. It's representation that matters. You know, it's not something that's so far fetched that no one can relate to the story. We're going to find a piece of ourselves in all that you do. Um, and when those storylines begin to unfold, 
Baby, let me tell you something. I hope I'm a bit stronger episode after episode after episode. So don't let me down. (laughs) During this pandemic, how have you managed to find your level of inspiration to stay safe and halfway sane through all of this? That is a question. Um, I think you look around and you look at your loved ones and you know you don't want to put them in danger. So as much as cabin fever is real, quarantine fever is real, um, it's been two years, I'm greatly over this pandemic, but I want to keep the people around me safe. So I do what I can to, to not jeopardize them. And staying inspired, I think is just it's necessary. Otherwise you go, we're not meant to live like this, right? We're not meant to be this isolated. Mm -hmm. So taking that extra step to seek out art, to take walks, which is something I probably wasn't doing that much before the pandemic, but to like find the ways that I can be outside, um, find the, the new avenues of, um, the different mediums that I can enjoy and just do everything I can to fill myself up, even though I'm not out in the world as much as I want to be. (laughs) That's awesome. It has caused everybody to kind of reset mm-hmm. and uh, do some things that you you haven't done. Uh, maybe some things you should have been doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't mind, uh, you know, quarantining and staying at home every now and then. Yeah. Because the alternative, I don't think I want that reality. Uh, and that's the truth. laid up in a hospital or something like that. Uh, I'll take sitting at home every time yeah yeah you know and during the pandemic I I have to say that this is the most time I've ever spent with myself so some Mm. of the stuff I'm like yeah we can keep that but some of the stuff like girl tan we need to have a heart to heart and we need to have it now did you get your steps in today mental physical spiritual just finding ways you know to to stay halfway sane because I'm not all the way there anyway um, but then again, who really is, you know, um, and, and it's just important that we find those outlets and to know that you all are creating a different sense to help us escape our reality and bring us more entertainment. Let me tell you, we appreciate the sacrifices that you have made during this quarantine <laughs> to run the scene. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we're looking forward to seeing it. Oh, my goodness. How can we keep up with you and all of your movements? Well, you can follow me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter um, at Ebene Ray. That's E-B-O-N-E-E-R-E-I-G-N-E. That's my middle name. Um, and then you can watch Kings of Napa every Tuesday. <laughs> that's it, Kings of Napa every Tuesday. Pull up. <laughs> and y'all can just call me. I'm at 917. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> look, look, if you need to call him, just dial 911 because it's a state of emergency every time he shows up. Oh my God. (laughs) Thank y'all so much for taking time out of your schedule. And as outdoors begin to reopen and you make your way to Louisiana, it's a field trip. I got you covered with the beignets and some crawfish or whatever the case may bring. Okay. All All right. right. We'll see you up next time we're there. There it is. I love you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. God bless.